Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So you may have seen in a really recent vlog on my channel that I went to London and I visited the Lush Oxford Street store. So I did pick up quite a few things from Lush and I thought I would just share with you everything that I bought and also just show you some clips of Oxford Street Lush store in case you haven't been there because they have got loads of really cool features. I'll pop that all in at the end after showing you my haul. So within this haul there are a couple of Lush Oxford Street store exclusives but most of the other products you can pick up in any store or on their website and the first thing I picked up was a brand new body spray. Well I say brand new, brand new to me. So this is the Let The Good Times Roll body spray and I absolutely love the facial cleanser. It is my favourite cleanser that Lush do. So when I saw the body spray, I thought I definitely have to get this. It just smells like vanilla, caramel, popcorn. I just thought it was a really perfect fragrance as well for autumn. I have used this a couple of times since purchasing it and I have to say that the scent does linger on your clothes all day. Literally just a couple of spritz and then you're good to go. So in case you're interested, this spray did cost £20, which considering it's 200ml, it's quite a hefty size spray bottle and the fact that you don't need to use an awful lot, I think is a really great alternative to some of their perfumes or just perfume in general, which of course can be much more expensive than a body spray. So this is the next thing I purchased, so obviously the cute little bags of course. And this is something that I've never actually tried before. And this is the Not Sleepy Shower Bomb. So this has got a really, really gorgeous citrusy fragrance. It's packed full of lime, lemon, orange, just perfect to just wake you up in the morning. All you have to do for this one is just hold it under your shower. It just foams up and then you can just scrub your body with it, which I think is a really fantastic idea and obviously not everybody has a bath so can't enjoy bath bombs so this definitely gets a big thumbs up from me and I'm really really excited to try it out. So this not sleepy shower bomb costs £2.75 and you can actually get multiple uses out of it like you don't have to use the whole thing just in one shower. The next item I got from Lush Oxford Street was a shampoo and I have used quite a few of their shampoos over the years. In fact, I'm currently using their rehab shampoo, which is really, really nice. Um, but anyway, this is a shampoo I hadn't seen in there before. I don't know if it's just me not seeing it, but this is their Wasabi Shan Kui shampoo and this has stimulating wasabi, horseradish and caffeine which is supposed, I think, to like stimulate your hair follicles and promote hair growth and thicken your hair, which for me is great because I do have quite fine, thin hair, but anything that can potentially add a bit of volume and a bit of thickness, I will definitely try. So this does have quite an interesting fragrance. You definitely do get a little hint of the horseradish, but it isn't overpowering, which is really good because that can be a really, really strong fragrance. It has also got lemon oil and rose oil in it, I think probably to just balance it out um, and just make the fragrance less intense. I just picked up the small one here, 110 grams, just to give it a go and see how I got on with it. And this shampoo cost nine pounds. Um, they do do this in all the big sizes as well, but I just thought I'd pick up the small one just to see how I got on with it. But really, really interested to give this a go and see whether it does thicken my hair. Next up, I picked up a bath bomb that I have used many, many times before, and it is the Ickle Baby Bots. But I have to say, I haven't tried it yet in the new shape. So I've only ever used this when it was like the flat shape. If you have used Ickle Baby Bot at any point over the last however many years, you'll know exactly what I mean. But I just really liked how it's just got this big belly, you've got Lush imprinted on the bottom there which I think is really cute and yeah I just thought this was a really really fun shape. So I know that this is packed full of lavender and chamomile and it's just really really relaxing. So the Ickle Baby Bot bath bomb is £2.50 so definitely one of their cheaper bath bombs. Now the next bath bomb is actually the first exclusive product that I picked up and this product is exclusive to all Lushes that have a spa. So not an Oxford Street exclusive, but 
not widely available in all of the lushes and it is the golden slumber bath bomb again a bit of a theme this one here is packed with lavender oil and chamomile and it's just really really relaxing i think the name probably speaks for itself golden slumbers this will be a good one to have in your bath before bed now, i definitely had this a few years ago in like a spa gift set and i'm sure they must have discontinued it if you can only pick it up in the actual spas now but the bath does go a really gorgeous sparkly gold so this golden slumbers bath bomb is £3.95 which I think is really really great value. I did actually pick up another hair product from Lush Oxford Street and this is a product that I used many many years ago and it is their veganese conditioner and I'm pretty sure that they discontinued this for ages so I was quite surprised to see it back I mean it's probably been back for ages I don't know I just normally go for a different conditioner so this is the 100 gram pot and this pot was seven pounds so it says here it's intense shine enhancing fresh lemon juice thoroughly cleanses and a drizzle of cheery lemon oil provides a gentle breeze of uplifting citrusy scent so that's what it looks like there in the pots I will say actually this is really good again for fine hair um, I've used this so many times before and it's never made my hair feel weighed down or greasy or oily. You don't need to use loads of it either. So this 100 gram pot will go a long way. Probably importantly as well, it does make your hair feel really soft, really smooth and just really silky because who doesn't want soft, smooth and silky hair? The next product that I picked up from Lush is the Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser. Now I actually picked this up because they didn't have, or at least I couldn't find, any of the Let The Good Times Roll Facial Cleanser. So I thought probably quite a good opportunity to try out one I haven't tried before. I know this one has been around a while, but I've just never tried it. So this is the 45 gram tub and this cost nine pounds. And because I didn't really know an awful lot about this one, apparently not only can you use this as a facial cleanser, you can also use it to remove makeup and it is gentle around your eyes for removing eye makeup, which is really great as well. So it's packed full of almond oil, it's got rose water, beeswax and honey and it's supposed to leave your skin feeling really soft, really smooth and blemish free. I'm definitely interested to see how I get on with this, especially as I always use a completely different cleanser from Lush. The next thing I picked up from Lush is actually quite a wintry product, I think, in my opinion, and it's the Frozen Bubble Bar. I mean, first of all, it's got this gorgeous snowflake and all of this shimmer all over it. So... This obviously is reusable. You can crumble this under your bath or just run it under the tap for multiple uses. It has a really lovely minty fragrance. So it says that it's packed full of spearmint oil, which I can definitely smell. I really do love bubble bars, but I have never tried out this one before. And I think the fact that it's minty is going to be really interesting in the bath. Um, I'm assuming it's going to turn the bath like a glittery shimmery blue there's just one more bath bomb that i picked up from lush and i got a big one this time so this is this really huge one here and this is the marshmallow world bath bomb and this one was 5.95 and as the name kind of suggests it just smells like sweets it's marshmallowy it's just a really really interesting bath bomb it's got like this lilac bit here, we've got white, pink, yellow. This is definitely gonna be a really interesting one in the bath to see exactly what color the bath does go. It smells like vanilla-y as well. It just, just kind of smells a bit like sweets. It's just a really lovely fragrance. I mean, maybe if you're not a big fan of overly sweet things, this probably isn't the bath bomb for you, but I can tell you for sure, I'm really, really excited to use this one and yeah, to see what color the bath does actually go there's just two more things in my lush haul and this one here is the second exclusive product so this one is exclusive to lush oxford street and it is the rumba shower jelly so so it's this really really gorgeous green of course it's all wobbly and it smells like green apple so it's actually got the same fragrance as the so white bath bomb which i've used a few christmases and it's also got the same fragrance as 
the Once Upon a Time body lotion. It's just that really lovely apple fragrance. It's also got bergamot, it's got neroli oil, it's got orange oil, and it just smells really fresh, really fruity, and I mean, a shower jelly is a bit of fun, really. Um, so it does say here that it's also got cleansing apple cider vinegar to keep your skin balanced and happy. So that's interesting. And I know that you can keep these either at room temperature or in the fridge, but I just keep mine at room temperature in the bathroom because otherwise I just forget to use it. And I know some people as well like chop theirs up into different pieces, um, but I tend to just tear a bit off lather it up on my sponge and then good to go but really excited to try out this jelly because i love jellies i love the fragrance of the so white bath bomb which is what drew me to this and i love that it's a bright bright green as well so yeah a bit of fun to have in the shower okay, this is the 100 gram tub of rumba and this was five pounds and then the final thing that i picked up in this lush haul was sleepy body lotion and i picked up the 95 gram tub and this was nine pounds so i have actually been using the sleepy shower gel a lot recently um so i thought why not try out the body lotion i do love a nice lotion putting it on my skin especially after a bath or an evening shower and I knew what the fragrance of Sleepy was, so I knew I was going to be onto a winner here. So of course, it's just that gorgeous lavender scent, just so relaxing and so calming. So this has also got oat milk, almond oil, obviously lavender. It's got cocoa butter, so it's just really softening and really smoothing. I'm sure as well, this would just be a really great hand cream as well as a body lotion. It even says here, comforting sweet Tonka Absolute gently blurs with lavender flower to hush your thoughts ready for a peaceful night's sleep. So all in all, definitely really excited to use this lotion. That's what it looks like in the pot. And it's got all that silver shimmer in it as well, just to make it extra special. I think if I pair this with my shower gel, I'm definitely going to be on for a good night's sleep. And that was everything that I picked up from Lush Oxford Street. So there were a couple of exclusives, everything else wasn't, but pretty much all of the products I picked up are new to me and I can't wait to try them all out. I'll also pop all the details of all the products in the description. So if you do want to check them out yourself, then you definitely can. Um, but I'd love to know what your favourite Lush products are or if there's anything you can recommend for me to try out. I definitely would love to know. I said at the start I was going to pop in just a few little clips from the shop and just the experience there. So I'll do that now and I hope that you enjoy those as well. as always thank you so much for watching today's video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please do give the video a big thumbs up leave me a comment and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and i'll see you again in my next video